How's it going guys? Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. This is currently my most requested tutorial video, so I'll keep the intro nice and short. So today we're learning this video is the longer version of the famous Sus Improv by Mistful Plays, and I've linked the video in the description if you want to give it another watch. I actually recommend having the video open while you're learning it anyway, as it's really useful to have as a reference. Now obviously this piece is really long, so my tutorial generally doesn't go too in-depth, apart from the really difficult bits. What I've done is an overhead view like most of my other videos, and I go through a couple bars at a time so you can see exactly what I'm playing. And the other thing is the intro section for this piece I haven't covered in this video because it's in another video and I'll link that in the description as well. So without further ado, let's go. All right, so we'll go through a couple bars at a time. Let's start with left hand straight away because it's quite simple. We're basically just going between two chords, starting with C minor seven and F minor seven. And generally what we do is this. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So the specific notes do change sometimes, but generally that's what's happening in the left hand throughout. So first four bars in the right hand. One, two, three, 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 one. Okay, so I'll play that with the left hand now. We have this little intro which goes one, two, three, and then we're into the first four bars like that. So that little intro. Like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, into the next four bars, the left hand's doing a very similar thing with a couple of changes, so it looks like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. 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 One, two, three. So bars one and four are, are exactly the same as the last four. Um, it's the second bar is a little bit different. We've got this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the third bar, slight variation one two three one two three okay so that's the left hand add the right hand in again it's a variation on the melody we heard in the last four bars one two three and then of course something i haven't mentioned yet is this little tremolo effect he doesn't always play it, but he, if he does, it's on those longer notes, so throw that in when you want. Okay, so I'll play from the start everything we've got so far, and I'll also add in a little tremolo effect. One, two, three. Okay, then the next four bars look again very similar. The left hand looks like this. One, two, three. 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 Okay, and then with the right hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again, a bit slower and with less pedal. One, two, three. Okay, next four bars. Again, left hand, exactly what we expect. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so it's generally, apart from the first one, just hitting that top note after hitting the chord. So first one is that, and then after that it's the chord, and then 
the top note. Right hand's a little bit more complicated here, so it looks like this. One, two, three, one. Okay, so what we're doing there in the right hand, we're going up these notes. And then hitting this E flat. Then we come down quite fast on these these three notes to hit this B flat like this. Uh, and actually you want to hit that B flat with the fourth finger. Like that. And then we just come down these notes to hit the C. And that's the when you hit that C is when you want to hit the E flat and the F like this. One, two, three, one. just have in the right hand I've got one two three one two three okay one two three one two three and then one two three one two three okay so there's last two bars one two three one two three one two three one two three and with the left hand one, two, three. Okay, so a little bit faster. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so let's look at the next three bars because the fourth bar is going to do something very different. So next three bars, we've got one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, so right hand, the first bar looks like this. One, two, three, one. So hitting those two notes at the same time. Next bar looks like this. Okay, so and then moving that shape up an octave and then playing these chords. So there's first two bars. And then the third bar. One, two, three, one, two. So there's three bars together. Then we have something very different to what we've played so far and it looks like this. All right, so left hand playing this chord, right hand playing this. Then we move down left hand playing this, so it's just gone down from that to that chromatically. Right hand is playing. Okay, so first chord, second chord, and the left hand goes. Okay, so it's the same notes you're already playing. Like that. And the timing there is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We've got nine beats in this bar instead of six like we normally do. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so those four bars together. One, two, three. Okay, so the next four bars, left hand's doing something a little bit different, and it looks like this. One, two, three. And then the right hand is just playing chords, and it looks like this. One, two, three. 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 So basically just playing that. G minor seven when we hit the B flat in the left hand. So next bar. Little 
bit easier. We're going one, two, three, chord, 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 and then hitting that E flat on the last beat. So those four bars together, one, two, three. And then the next two bars look like this. Okay, so in the left hand we're just going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then to the F minor, and the right hand is going. So one, two, three. To this section which is played very freely so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the notes very slowly so you know exactly what notes to play and then I'll play it a little bit faster myself but the idea is that you get really comfortable with the notes and then just once you've got it really confident you can play it as freely as you want okay so the section as a whole looks like this we'll just hit this F minor 9 That's what the section looks like. I was playing it obviously a little bit slower than it is in the video, so let's go through all the notes. We start here on this F minor nine, and we've got this A flat major seven chord sort of run up. So I'll play it slowly with no particular rhythm. Okay, so the first few notes, starting from here we go. Okay, it's A flat major seven. Then we go. Then we go. Okay. Finishing with. Okay, so from the start. This very long run. Start here, we hit this C minor seven. If you play those notes very fast, we go like that. And then the run, we start here on this G and we go. Go down two more notes. Then we hit this E flat with the third finger and we go. Then we hit this B flat with the fourth finger and go down these four notes. Okay, then we come down these three notes and then these four notes again. Okay, so from the top. these notes. Okay, again from the F we go. And that E flat is when we hit the next F minor 7 chord. Okay. Okay, so let's just do that whole free play section so far. So yeah, practice it even slower than I'm playing it there until you're really confident with the notes. The idea is you just want to minimize any hesitation and it's just like muscle memory. And that's how you get it to a speed that sounds really natural and really expressive like it is in the video. Okay, so we've just hit the F minor seven and we've got a similar run up, this A flat major seven shape, like we did at the start and it looks like this. Okay, so we start here. So, and the nice 
nice and easy, we basically do the same thing an octave higher. Um, but we get rid of that second B flat. So. And then we finish with that full run again. Okay, so onto the final section. It actually looks very similar to the first section, which is good. And our next four bars look like this. Okay, so left hand is doing exactly what we did in the first four bars of the piece. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Repeat. And then the melody is very similar but slightly different. So again, I'll just play through it. Okay, so next four bars, again, similar to the first section, looks like this. Okay, so left hand's doing that, as we expect. Then we've got this shape again. Back to the C minor seven, F minor seven. hand again. Okay, then we have this new bit and it looks like this. Left hand is playing that down to finishing with. Okay, nice and simple. Right hand a little bit more complicated and it's played very freely this bit, so. Play those three chords. Followed by those three chords again. Finishing with playing this G and B flat in each octave. And then we finish with... Okay, so the left hand is playing this C minor seven, and the right hand starting there. So a little chromatic movement. Then we finish with the final melody. Let's put that together.